Next up, we've got Matt Ritchie. He's the archaeologist at Forestry and Land Scotland, an agency of the Scottish Government. And um, Matt helps to guide the protection, conservation and presentation of the historic environment on Scotland's National Forest Estate. So this often will include some lovely rock art panels, such as um, the panel at Ormeg in Argyle. And he's really interested in promoting archaeological learning. So he's got a very great example to share with us today, which is um, the brand new learning resource, A Song in Stone. Um, it was produced in partnership with Scrap and Kilmartin Museum. So Matt has created a fantastic animated short film that I'm very excited will be premiering today. But before we premiere the movie, I will pass on to Matt so he can make a quick introduction to the film. So A, so a Song in Stone um, is the latest in a series of Forestry and Land Scotland publications that take an imaginative, deep time approach uh, to outdoor archaeological learning. The booklets are the result of uh, many different contributions from a range of professions, including archaeologists, ecologists, foresters, educators, artists and photographers, all working together uh, to create, a, to present a fresh take on the interpretation of our ancient past and our contemporary archaeological practice. The booklets present some quite complex and uh, unconventional ideas, uh, and we use archaeological discussion creative indoor activities and practical outdoor learning uh, to explore the ancient wildwood, today's native woodlands uh, and contemporary archaeological methodology. So into the wildwoods, our first one, try and get that right, there we are, <laughs> um, describes the lives of the Mesolithic wild harvesters who first ventured into the wildwoods and it's rooted in an ecological understanding of place and time. Uh, the booklet exploring the roles of interconnected habitats, natural resources and seasonal change. Uh, the second, the first foresters, there we have it, um, describes the lives of the Neolithic pioneers who followed long after and uses the experience of today's native woodlands to explore our human response to trees and woodland. It describes a very different Neolithic from the norm, one of not of stone but of wood. And the most recent, A Song in Stone, uh, draws on the work of leading archaeologists and rock art researchers to describe a time and tradition far removed from today. Uh, the booklet celebrates Scotland's internationally significant outdoor gallery of Atlantic rock art and the shared cultural tradition that it represents, using an inspirational blend of objective recording, subjective analysis and narrative interpretation to encourage critical thinking and the creative arts. All the booklets are both reference material and learning resource. They use a popular communication style and bold design to align an archaeological and ecological ethos with a more subtle message of stewardship and responsibility. They are intended to share and shape values across a wide readership while preparing the practitioner with information and ideas to pass on to their learners. The booklets all emphasise the importance of outdoor and archaeological learning and reward interested practitioners with accessible background information, unconventional ideas and exceptional artwork and design. Because these aren't just any learning resources, these are archaeological learning resources, detailed, creative, informative and imaginative and all available online for free. And it was with this riff uh, on, popular ad on a popular advertising campaign in mind that I wanted to do something special to celebrate the launch of the booklet and the success of Scrap itself. And so drawing on the talents of animator Lauren Kirkwood, musicians Gavin, Gavin Sutherland and Drew Wright and poet Lindsay McGregor, may I present to you the premiere of A Song in Stone, the short animated film. The Neolithic rock art of Europe's Atlantic coastline forms a distinctive cultural tradition, an ancient outdoor gallery shared between communities past and present. The repeating motifs were carved by many different hands over time, each an individual expression, but part of a collective whole. An abstract tattoo on the skin of the land created by observers of the natural world and of the heavens above a cacophony of voices all singing a common refrain. 
Our short animated film emphasizes the personal experience of carving rock art, exploring the sight senses of sight, of sound and of touch and celebrates the humanity behind this performance on a truly universal stage. Uh, so drum roll, uh, hit play, and I hope you enjoy it. Charged with a precious production of dust, the makings of us. 